Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, who is presently visiting India for an official visit, faces growing protests back at home. On Saturday, thousands participated in a mass rally in Tel Aviv against him in what now appears to have become a weekly ritual of anger against the Premier. For the seventh consecutive Saturday, protesters chanted slogans against Netanyahu over corruption. But this week, they added his son to their agenda for his role in an infamous scandal known as the Stripper Scandal. The scandal came into the spotlight after a leaked audio suggested he patronized strip clubs with government-appointed driver and bodyguard. Speculations are now rising that the bombastic Israeli leader would sooner or later find himself in troubled waters. Netanyahu is a suspect in two corruption investigations known as cases 1000 and 2000. In the first case, he and his wife Sarah are suspected of receiving illicit gifts from billionaire benefactors. The second case involves a suspected illicit quid pro quo deal between Netanyahu and a newspaper publisher that would have seen the Prime Minister weaken a rival daily. Netanyahu has so far denied any wrongdoing and has indicated he does not intend to step down regardless of police recommendations. But some believe his popularity at home could suffer as a result of the ongoing protests and the lengthy police investigations into his case. And this, of course, will not be free from consequences. The, the way that it, the Israeli political system works, what has to happen is that the Attorney General has to bring an indictment against Netanyahu for different uh, corruption cases that he faces. Uh, any one of them, if indictments are brought, uh, would cause an enormous amount of pressure inside uh, the Israeli political system and the Knesset for him to resign. So the protests are aimed at the Attorney General. There has recently been a surge in Israeli attacks on what officials in Tel Aviv have described as Palestinian tunnel targets. Netanyahu himself has warned of a greater response to the Palestinians. Many believe these could be part of a tactic by the Premier to start a new war in the Gaza Strip to divert the attention of the public against his corruption cases. Uh, mention the ways in which uh, Bibi and Netanyahu is trying to distract the public from his troubles. Uh, he certainly would be willing to start a war uh, to distract attention. Uh, it might be a war in Gaza, it could also be a war in uh, Lebanon. I think that Israel sees Hezbollah actually as a more formidable foe than uh, Hamas is, and Hamas seems to not want to uh, provoke a war with Israel. So I think the front where there is real danger of, uh, of, of violence and, and, and a, a military offensive might be in Lebanon. But yes, he certainly would be willing to uh, use that as another tool to uh, get out from under these corruption charges. It is still not clear whether the rising public anger against Netanyahu would eventually force him to step down from office. What the world does not want to see is a surprise decision by Israel to use a new war on the Palestinians to divert attention from Netanyahu's corruption cases. That would mean the Palestinians will have to pay the price for domestic brawls of the Israelis.